And among those thinking of Jimmy Carter is a former Secret Service agent who lives in Clayton. He told CBS 17's Maggie Newland that working for President Carter was more than a job. It was the big beginning of a lifelong friendship. Photographs and letters tell the story of a friendship that's lasted for decades. We treasure those, uh, those, those memories. A friendship between a former president and a Secret Service agent once assigned to protect him. During Jimmy Carter's term in office, Denny Schlindwein protected his grandchildren. The biggest fear for President Carter was the grandkids. After Carter's term, his job was to keep the former president and his family safe at their Georgia home and when traveling. Just to watch. Uh, to be vigilant, to make sure you know there weren't any problems. Uh, we actually had a guy come one time that took a cab from Atlanta, and he had a, a small sword stuck down his pants, and he wanted to. He said he was there to have a, uh, a duel with the president. We would travel in places in Africa where he, he was trying to get the dictator overthrown and have a fair election, and that was dangerous, one of the most dangerous part. There were dangerous moments, but there was also a lot of fun. We'd be sitting on a campfire somewhere up in Helen, Georgia, where his cabin, and he'd walk down to sit around with the guys and hang out. The former president even helped Denny build this piece of furniture, a butcher block, for his wife Sally. He was a master carpenter. He did almost all the work. The day that he presented it to my wife in front of his garage, and he said, this is for you for putting up with him and me for the last several years, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. After Denny's work with President Carter ended, the family stayed in touch. We would send them letters. She would send us letters. He saw Sally, and he would always say the same thing. I knew it was coming out of his mouth. Sally, do you still have that butcher block? It's something they'll always cherish, along with the memories of a man who they say worked hard to make the world a better place. Oh, what a great, what a great human being. He was concerned with famine. He was in, concerned with disease. He was concerned with peace. I feel lucky that, that we were good friends. I, I really do. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.